Yes. Sorry, sir. I have a question. Since we're on the topic of, of Lemkos and Rusins and all that stuff. Since we're on the topic of Lemkos and... Rusins and, uh -huh. and, and all this. Um, I have had the opportunity to work um, it, within two environments where there's a Lemko organization in the States and a Lemko organization here in Canada. Now, both orient towards being a Ukrainian orientation. Um, but the, I find that in the States, they have this more separate kind of view of me a Lemke and that's it. And then you, in Canada, there's a more kind of uh, Lemko Ukrainian orientation. Uh, could you, is, it, is it because of the different uh, waves of immigration that this can be a different identity, that the immigration to Canada being a newer uh, immigration and the Lemko organizations down in the States being a little bit older? They both orient towards Ukraine though, but it, it more kind of, a little bit more extreme in the in the uh, American case. Can you speak to that? Well, by the way, here we have an example of a highly intelligent student from the University of Toronto, a former student of mine, who not only poses the question, but then answers it, and answers it appropriately. I'm sorry, <laughs> um, um, so yes, <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, just for, uh, for uh, general interest purpose, because you all live here in Toronto, uh, this is correct, that uh, uh, there were uh, Lemko organizations in the United States and also in Canada. In fact, the first Lemko organization was founded in Winnipeg, and then it was moved to Cleveland and eventually to Yonkers, New York. But that was from the old immigration, primarily from uh, before World War I, but in particular the late 1920s. And that organization was certainly not Ukrainian, let's put it that way. Now, whether they were pro-Russian or whether they were pro-Russian, that's a different story, but they were certainly not uh, Ukrainian. But that's an older generation. Those organizations hardly exist anymore. Um, and then a new wave of uh, young people came from Poland, especially during the 1980s. Uh, and they were, if they had not already assimilated and been Poles and then couldn't care about anything, East Slavic, uh, if they, they, they very often uh, were of Ukrainian orientation, and that's what you find now in Canada. But, small little footnote, uh, this, this old Lemko organizations, the older ones, the, it was called the Lemko Soyuz, um, with its seat first in Winnipeg, then Cleveland, and then in Yonkers, um, was also very uh, left-wing, and in the mid-30s, pro-Soviet. They had participated in a, in, a, in a movement to try to, already in the 1930s, to encourage Lemkos to move to the Soviet paradise. 1936, before the war. So they were always very left-wing. And some of these old duffers, as we would say, still exist today. And by the way, if any of you are here in Toronto, and know Toronto, and if you want to go to an upscale environment, uh, a gentrified environment of Queen Street. There is still a building on Queen Street, very nicely restored, that used to be the Carpathian People's Home. They bring in a lot of money because of the stores that they rent to. And if you look in the window, you will still see something called the uh, Alexander Duchnovich Society of Carpatho Russians of Canada, followed by the Friends of the Soviet People, uh, and an organization for the recreation of the Soviet Union. <laughs> you just walk down to Queen Street and you see, this is these old uh, pre-World War I uh, leftist Lemkos, uh, the last gasp, uh, if you will. That's the Aritzia if anybody wants to see it. Pardon? It's Aritzia now if you want to take a look at it on Queen Street. Aritzia, you mean the store? Yeah, the store is called Aritzia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but they, they own the building. <laughs> and by the way, I'm serious, I've, I've visited this guy once in a while. It's, it's actually a wonderful experience, and you can pretend to go in there, and you'll get a little tour, and you'll walk into it, and you think you're walking into some, you know, emigre organization in the 1950s, um, except it's filled with portraits of Lenin and Stalin. I mean, you know, statues, portraits, <laughs> you should look at this, is, is this for real? It is. What address? Pardon, the address. address? Oh, you want to go down there with a protest sign? Uh -huh. I'm going to let you figure out. I've given you all the hints necessary. Besides, you don't have to protest against losers. Losers have lost. Be generous. Be Christian.
<laughs> Forgive them, because they know not what. Maybe we should be wrapping up. Good, because there's another event. We're being pushed out of here.